that looks like a good spot over there. Make sure that we got some light in our face. And we'll uh we'll get down in into the nitty-gritty of what I do and what I do not like about these gloves. Now I, I wanna preface this whole thing by saying when I buy a pair of uh, gloves or when I buy anything for my bike or for myself bike related I do a lot of research so I don't just go off the cuff and go into the store and, and browse around and find something that I like uh, when I make a choice or a selection on something that's that I'm going to be wearing for protection or for let's put the kickstand down here just in case or just so that I don't have to set up here yeah when I make a choice on something that I want to buy that's gonna keep me safe or on the bike, I, I, I'm very deliberate. I do a lot of research and I make sure that the things that I buy are of good quality as well as uh, come from a brand that has a good reputation. Um, you know, you can, you can buy like generic stuff or cheaper stuff, but to me, spending a little bit more on something and knowing that it's gonna last longer, uh, to me, is worth the investment uh, instead of, you know, buying something cheap and then having to replace it multiple times in this same time span that you might get something um, that's really solid. So let's just talk about really quickly about these Alpine Star Seller Gloves. Uh, first off, I just love the way they look. Um, to me, it wasn't too much white and uh, it was a nice two-tone color here. We also got some red striping and red piping here in the knuckles um, to give it a nice uh, popping color on these gloves. Now, style-wise, I know that's all kind of relative so I won't talk too much about how much I like the style of these gloves but I do like the style of these gloves so I will say that uh, obviously off the right off the bat you got the protection here in the knuckles uh, with the hard plastic uh, and uh, the, the, one of the things that I love about these gloves is that they have protection in all the places that you would want um, like a little reinforcement uh, you've got it here on the side of the palm uh, you know, you have the natural position for your hands when they're at your sides is this way. So naturally, when you when you wipe, uh, if your body, let's just say your body's going limp, they're going to want to go this way and not this way. And so having some extra protection here on the side of your palm, I think is huge. You've also got some extra protection here on this little bone that sticks out on, on your wrist. Um, and to me, it's like these aren't a gauntlet glove. They don't go all the way down. Um, but it does provide that little extra protection that maybe if you were wearing a short glove that you're not going to get. Um, what I've heard from some people is that the Velcro on these Alpine Star gloves um, go out fairly quickly. I can kind of see that happening because the hook side here um, doesn't feel of the greatest quality. But I haven't had any problems, so I'm not going to say yay or nay on that at all but um you can listen to some of other people's reviews or read for yourself a great place to find it is, is on revzilla i know there's always a lot of feedback from customers there who like to give their input on things that they buy so going on about these gloves uh i can use my phone here with my index finger on both hands uh let, let's i'm just got my notes up here and you can see uh, it's no problem it's not like i have to press hard it's just like i'm touching it here with my finger um to stay uh, uh to get your um, to get things open on your phone, you know this isn't a this is actually not a mechanical button. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. So anyway, uh, that was a bad example there. Uh, but I haven't had any issues with using these gloves with my phone. So uh, another plus uh, for these the Alpine Star Seller gloves. Now uh, the, another added thing here uh, that I haven't actually seen a lot on gloves is that. You've got this pinky protection here where you've got the um, the pinky sewn in to the ring finger here on your glove. And I'm, try, I'm, not, I'm at like in between which camera am I looking at here. It's, let's just go with this one. Um, you've got this extra protection here in the pinky. And to me, that's a really big deal. Uh, because, you know, it's one of those things where if you're flailing your hands or something, um, the pinky is like the first thing to just want to go right so having that extra protection uh is it was just a bonus and it was something that i that i noticed not a lot of gloves do um i I'd, i've never wrecked on my motorcycle uh knock on wood uh, but should i ever do that I, I like my chances with these gloves now the last thing we'll talk about here with the alpine star seller gloves is the fit 
Now, uh, I always wear a medium when I when I buy gloves, whether they're like uh, receiver gloves for football or batting gloves or, you know, just gloves that you're going to wear to keep warm. I always wear a medium. So when I put these on in the store, they were really tight and it concerned me a little bit, but knowing that the, the leather construction here was going to stretch out with time, I knew that I was going to get a nice snug fit, which is the way I like it. Um, and I would trade that off with having the circulation cut off a little bit for a little while. And it didn't take more than a day or two after, you know, getting my hand sweat in there and just wearing them around and getting them stretched out before they felt really good. So uh, they will fit tight. If you know that you consistently wear a certain size in a glove, uh, I would go with that size with these gloves. They're going to feel tight. Um, but in the end, like I said, it, it, it really just feels good to me um, to have that snug fit. Uh, I won't go into too much about the technicality about these gloves because you can read about all that stuff. Um, and I'll put a link in the description so you can look up that for yourself but this is just my impressions of the gloves I've had them here for a couple months and I've had them out on rides and I just love them um, another thing that I've noticed from different gloves that I've worn on this bike definitely with the winter gloves and uh, but with the other pair of gloves that I have which are the uh, the Roland Sands uh, diesel gloves is that I get a better feel uh, on with these gloves when I'm uh, hitting the controls here on my bike it just ha I, I I don't know if the leather's thinner on these gloves than they are on this on the uh, on my Roland Sands gloves, but I really appreciate uh, the feel of these gloves when you got them on and I don't feel like I'm trading off uh, protection for getting that 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 tactile feel here with my fingers um, also there's a, a reinforcement here and at all these little reinforcements to me will help in the longevity of these gloves um i don't know if i'll end up doing a, a like a long review of these gloves once i've had them for maybe like uh, six months or, or a year but i would definitely recommend buying these gloves uh, i think that these are the last generation of the seller gloves there's a new generation and there might be a few changes here and there but for the most part uh when i tried them on i both tried both generations first this past generation which are these and the new generation and i like them both so um you've got the, that one guy seal of approval on the alpine seller uh gloves so if you have any questions and i haven't mentioned something that maybe you had a question about regarding these gloves make sure you put it in the comments i'm really good about answering those questions as quickly as i can and also uh if you just have any questions in general uh about me or the channel leave those in the comments as well all right guys that's all i've got for you today Make sure that if you like this video to go ahead and hit that thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Hi right, guys, if you're out there riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. I'm that one guy, and I am out.